Hello and welcome. I'm Amritan Shura and you're watching Law of the Land on Raj Sabha TV. Today we bring to you the Supreme Court judgment on black films used in cars. To discuss the issue, I have with me Mr. Atul Nanda, senior advocate, and Mr. Abhishek Goenka, petitioner in the case. Now for the headlines. The Supreme Court prohibits use of any type of black films on vehicles. The court has directed the police to chalan vehicles with black films and also remove films. And the court has threatened that non-compliance by administration may lead to contempt of court. The Supreme Court has prohibited the use of black films of any type on the windscreens and side glasses of vehicles. The court has directed the Home Secretary, Director General, Commissioner of Police of all states and union territories to ensure compliance. The order has been in operation from May this year. The Supreme Court has ruled that the visibility level of windscreens and side windows of cars as provided by manufacturers cannot be increased or decreased by anyone. The court in its judgment observed that the use of black films gives immunity to the violators in committing a crime and considerably increasing criminal activities. At times, heinous crimes like decoity, rape, murder and even terrorist acts are committed in or with the aid of vehicles having black films on car windows and screens. A car or a vehicle with a tinted glass was like a closed room where nobody could enter. Even, even the police could not check at uh, crossroads and therefore the crime was absolutely on the increase and uh, that is when this PIL came before the Supreme Court. A three-judge bench headed by former Chief Justice, Justice S.H. Kapadia, Justice A.K. Patnayak and Justice Swatantra Kumar prohibited use of any kind of black films on windscreens and side windows of cars. The judgment says use of black films prevents the traffic police from seeing the activity in the car. The number of fatal accidents of vehicles having black films is much higher in India than in other parts of the world. The court also reasoned that since the black filmed vehicles have lower visibility, the chances of an accident increase by 18 to 38 percent. The court recorded that violators of permissible level of glass visibility has gone up from 110 in the year 2008 to 1234 in the year 2010 in Delhi alone. The court directed that visual light transmission VLT with 70% for windscreens and 40% VLT for side windows are allowed but it is the manufacturer who can provide for it. The court has exempted persons approved by government for security reasons. We were not being able to regulate the breach of law which was happening because of tinted glasses. Means, uh, how will they monitor ki which glass is beyond 50% uh, which is beyond 30% and all that. So I, I propose to the court that altogether this thing should be removed because privacy is not about public places. Privacy is about private places. Public spirited citizens Abhishek Goenka had filed a public interest litigation in the Supreme Court. A petition had argued in favour of 100% visibility for windscreens and side glasses. But the court rejected his plea on the grounds that the parameters were already available in the Motor Vehicles Law. Rule 100 of the Motor Vehicles Act clearly states what kind of black glasses are to be used in the motor vehicles. The Supreme Court interpreted the same thing. With camera person Rajdeep Subina Roy, Rajya Sabha TV. The manufacturer of the vehicle may... Ma may manufacture the vehicles with tinted glass but no black film on or any other material can be pasted on the windscreens and side glasses of a vehicle. My question to you, Atul, is where do you see a contradiction, an issue in the entire scheme of judgment? Very, very conversant, in sync with most of the uh, law of the land, but do you see any issues in the judgment? See, at large judgment, till the time it says that 
a glass should be in conformity with rule 100. 70 for the windscreen and the back screen and 50 for the side screens. There is absolutely no difficulty about it. Mm -hmm. But to my mind, the judgment requires to be reconsidered on an issue that the learned court has come to a conclusion that even if a glass is say 100% visible, to bring it down to 70% or 50%, nothing can be imposed. Mm -hmm. Where does the court get that from? If, if I see the judgment and if one reads paragraph 10, section 52 of the Motor Vehicle Act is quoted, where it is said that whatever is manufactured cannot be altered. If we read 52, 52 talks about registration certificate. Registration certificate, as we all know, is the chassis number, the engine number. It does not specify the color of the glasses. It may specify the color of the car. It may specify the make of the car. It may specify the model of the car. But it does not specify the, uh, anything about the glasses. Therefore, to have a 100% ban on anything, any plastic material on the, uh, on the windscreen, which even if it conforms with section 100, is banned. That is where you see a problem. The, now, please, please appreciate one thing. We are talking well, about... Until the same plea was made and an interim application was made. Yes. And the same issue was raised. It was addressed by the court in the second judgment yes. where it clearly dismissed any such logic and said, whatever is being given by the manufacturer is final, nothing over and above it. They were very, very clear of the point you were saying, anything that use of black or any other material, nothing doing, not, that is not happening. So, once even that has been settled, is there a point in going back to it again and again? The issue is that the judgment must be in conformity with law. The court cannot add to a statute and can, can explain for, for sure. But I say if the rule says that the visibility should be 70% or 50%, if the glass is in conformity with that, I don't see a reason that there is any flouting of law or there is any breach of law. Avishek, do you, you wanted 100% to be done away with. That means 100% transparency in the glasses. That was your plea. But the court did not accept that. Accepted what was mentioned in the Motor Vehicles Act. But there is a point that Atul is making that if the car being manufactured is with 100% transparency, from all sides, and if a consumer wants to bring it down to 70 and 40, what is wrong? What was the logic that the court gave in when this matter came before it? So you have to understand the idea behind the PIL. The idea behind the PIL is a very plain idea from an ordinary citizen. It's like any law cannot breach my fundamental rights. So my fundamental right is right to life and right to live peacefully. Mm -hmm. So with the rising instances of crime and India being a resource deprived nation, wherein you know like if you take the police numbers is the lowest in the world per lack of population. And mind it, I repeat, we are a resource constrained nation. So we cannot have uh, freedom in terms of incre increasing the resources whenever we want to. So laws have to be citizen centric. They, ha they have to protect our interests. So we went to the court, we said that since the police, we had an exhaustive RTI applications received from various authorities. Well research, yes. Yeah. The court appreciated it. In yeah. Fact. So we got the police numbers, we got the luxometers numbers. You know, it was surprising that in, uh, in India, apart from... We come from, to the luxometer issue yeah, later on. Yeah, so, so all the resources which are lacking were put forward to the court. The intensity of the crime was highlighted. You cannot point out a single crime where no, but the point that Atul yeah, wants, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, wants you to yeah. address is that when it was brought before the courts, the same issue that if the manufacturer is giving a car which is 100% transparent yeah. and if the consumer wants to bring it, align it 
with what is mentioned in Motor Vehicles Act yeah. section 100, mm -hmm. which is 70, 40. If the consumer wants to do that, then why can't the consumer do that? Yeah, so the court went into the legislative intent behind the Rule 100, actually. They said that when it comes from the manufacturer's place, it comes as a colored glass. There is no film which is pasted outside the glass. So, color glass is by the virtue of some color mixing which is done at the manufacturer end. By the glass, of the glass, okay. Of the glass. The car vehicle manufacturer does not manufacture the glass. He buys it from the... And fits it. And fits it. Yeah. Okay. So tomorrow, as a consumer, you want to bring your 100% VLT down to 70%. You can't. No, you can. You can go to a glass manufacturer. Get it redone. Yeah. Okay, and that's the option. So that's now you already have an answer, yes. which means if you really are so interested in bringing down the transparency level of your glass yes. in conformity with the Motor Vehicles Act and bring it to 70-40, you take out the glass, go ask the manufacturer to design a new glass, and fit it at the level of 70, 40. What Designing time is that? does not require. So what is the purpose achieved? I mean, your if, transparency if, issues if, are sorted no, out. I am sorry. Today, Tell me are something. We, why do we, we need? Why do we need external uh, films? I am saying something else. Today, my learned friend is saying that you can go to a glass manufacturer and bring it down to 70 percent. Then why not have film? What is the purpose achieved? The effect of the same. Uh, effect of both are the same. No, no, I understand. But why if the sector, if the, if the Supreme Court, due yes. to security reasons, yes. wants to completely keep the film industry away because it, it has security ramifications, then what's wrong in it? I don't think Supreme Court wants a film industry to be away. Supreme Court Not the film industry, as in no, the uh, tinted I mean, film industry. Tinted, 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 tinted <laughs> film industry. What Supreme Court is saying... Because of please, security reasons. Please ply your vehicle on 70 and 50. Yeah. If that 70 and 50 is achieved either by a film or as my friend is suggesting by replacement, where I, I don't see the any Supreme fallacy. Supreme Court says that uh, they have decoded the law, they have interpreted the law and as per law you cannot paste any external material on the on the glass that is clear that, that, that is clear. they have interpreted the, the, I, am, I am no external I have the, i am asking which provision of the motor vehicle act says this says that there cannot be any imposition please appreciate one thing now i have a say maruti van i put a guard it is something external which has not come from the manufacturer right. i put an additional guard so will that motor vehicle be also illegal should he be also challenged? No, maybe if someone puts a PIL on that, maybe Supreme Court clarified. might come, it would be clarified. Time for us to head into a break. When we come back, we will talk about the specific direction the court has made for the administration. Welcome back. The Supreme Court, in another judgment on the same issue, directed the police authorities not only to challenge the offenders, but ensure that black or any other film pasted on the safety glasses are removed. The court also made it clear that police authorities found not acting may have to face charges of contempt of court. The Apex Court, in an application seeking to review the judgment, not only reiterated its earlier judgment, but also passed additional directions to the administration to act effectively. The rule contemplates that the tinted, that the um, that the tinting of the glass has to be original. That is from the manufacturer. It is not permissible for anyone to affix film and tint the glasses, regardless of the fact whether such tinting by of the glass by affixing film will uh, is within the permissible parameters of 70 percent and 50 percent. The Apex Court directed all Director Generals of Police, Commissioners of Police to ensure complete compliance and not allow pasting of any material including film. The court directed the police not only challenge the offenders but ensure that black or any other films or materials pasted on safety glasses are removed. It warned the police authorities 
that any complaint of non-compliance may lead to contempt of court. It also instructed the copies of the direction to be sent to all concerned including the chief secretaries of the states. What the court has done is that a dead enactment has been activated in the sense that the police has been asked to, to enforce it by ensuring that tinted glasses are not used or wherever it has been used, that film is removed. Separate petitions by traders and manufacturers of black films were filed in the Supreme Court after the court banned use of films on windscreens and side windows. The petitioners highlighted the positive impact of black films and pleaded that the court should review its orders as it had done so without hearing their point of view in the matter but the court rejected all such petitions. The Supreme Court judgment also stated that the number of violators of the Rule 100 of the Motor Vehicles Act had gone up from 100 in 2008 to around 1200 in 2010. With camera person Rajdeep, Subina Roy, Rajya Sabha TV. A device called Luxometer can measure the level of opaqueness in windows owing to the application of black films. But this device is very scantily available with the police personnel in India. Your, your role as a petitioner now becomes very crucial because the court in its second judgment has made it clear that anyone found violating will be pulled up for contempt of court. Now the court doesn't have eyes and ears. And since you are the petitioner, suddenly you are empowered because now you will have to keep your eyes and ears open and now you have a locus to go to court in case of non-implementation. Do you understand the responsibility of this? See, my content petition is already pending in the court. Uh, just because uh, one or two review petitions have been filed, the content petition is delayed. Otherwise. What is the contempt petition all about? See, contempt is about uh, bringing to notice the places where the uh, implementation has not been done. And it also talks about appointing a retired uh, judge of Supreme Court or any other authority which Supreme Court feels justified to monitor the implementation. Mm -hmm. Rather than booking the offenders, uh, we have asked for a monitoring authority. On the implementing part, do you, do you really see an issue involved? Because now, I mean, Delhi it has started, but Delhi is not India. It is for India, the subcontinent of India. For example, in Cherapunji, or it could be in Kanyakumari, or it could be in Kutch in Gujarat, or for that matter, <coughs> Jammu. Do you think a uniform implementation of this thing has already started? Well, I, and, I, and is it possible? I, I, I possibly cannot comment on it. But however I say, though I have reservations about a small portion of the judgment, this is the law of the land. Every, it is the duty of every authority to implement, to implement it. it. Correct. 144. But at the same time, this, we, we must respect the institutions. An institution has given a judgment. Who has the jurisdiction to give this judgment? It is not the duty of the state authorities, but also of every citizen to adhere to this judgment and follow this judgment. So therefore, my only uh, comment on this is that yes, here is a judgment. We must bow down and we must implement this. And it, it, it is not, if anybody is offending, you don't have to wait for a police officer to take action. You as a citizen can take action in the sense, bring it to the knowledge of the appropriate authority so that the action can be taken. Now, which essentially means that the citizen at large has been empowered, <laughs> including you. You have the biggest locus mm. in the matter and every citizen now can go to the court saying that I live in Panji and I have not, I mean, uh, the, here the police administration is not implementing the uh, tinted glass order, so they should be pulled in contempt. But you, how do you plan to monitor the entire activities to ensure that these directions, because you were the play, uh, petitioner in the matter, 
that it is implemented in the whole of India, not only in Delhi. See, monitoring, uh, see, social media plays a very important part as far as monitoring is concerned. Like I am into the Facebook uh, account of every, you know, police authority, traffic police authority. So whatever major drives are being done, they are always updated on Facebook and whatever major violations are happening, the uh, empowered citizens keep on posting in Facebook. So this has become a very uh, active tool, you know, like... Then again, Google search is there. Whenever there is a strong police action, there is a lot of reaction which comes, both positive and negative. So you get it from Google that where the intensity is high as far as police action is concerned. Mm -hmm. So from that, we derive the low intensity areas. Then we have our own team. They are initiating, like in Jammu and Kashmir, the content petition was initiated in High Court. Um, Jodhpur, we had um, a big bash, uh, international ba bash. All the guests were uh, ferried in the black flame cars, but the empowered group out there, they moved high court and ensured that such things do not take place. So there's a team which is working who, who are based in different states. They are essentially lawyers. And on my, you know, like communication, they move high court as contempt of court instead of moving the Supreme Court. Okay. And that is how you are the ensuring that implementation happens happening. from your end. Yeah. Okay. Time for us to enter into a break. When we return, we will show you an interview with Satyendra Indragad, Joint Commissioner of Police Traffic. Welcome back. My colleague Subina Roy spoke to Joint CP Traffic Police Delhi, Satyendra Indragad, and tried to get his point of view on the issue. The Motor Vehicle Act talks about the percentage of tinted glass that can be used in motor vehicles. Could you elaborate us on that? See, the Act provisions are simple. Like it says that uh, in the front and rear glasses, like the transparency level should be about or should be minimum 70 percent. That means tint can be only up to 30 percent. And on the side glasses, like uh, window glasses, it can be 50 percent transparency and 50 percent tint. So this is what has been laid down. Now, the Supreme Court has interpreted it this way, that transparency means the inbuilt glass transparency, not the film. Because the reason is that film you can uh, get in the market of any intensity. And there is no instrument available uh, readily in India like which can uh, exactly measure the transparency of the film. The Motor Vehicle Act had already restrictions on the use of black films. And now the Supreme Court judgment which has upheld it. So what was the difference then and what is the difference now? The difference, Motor Vehicle Act provision only mentioned about the, say, like transparency level and said, okay, like, okay, if somebody violates the law, like fine will be, say, 100 rupees. Okay, so before the Supreme Court intervention, like we were still prosecuting the people, and but what used to happen is, like people used to bear the fine, punishment and still carried on, carried on with the violation. So what happened, like today you are caught Maybe after three days again you are caught, so again you pay the fine, but uh, the remedial action, which is the removal of the film, was not happening. See, so after Supreme Court, the only difference that has come is that on the spot, that uh, offending film or violative film has to be removed on the spot. The court in its order has said that use of these black films have been proved to be criminal's paradise and a social evil. This certainly helps the criminals to escape from the eyes of the police and aids in the commission of heinous crimes. The point you were trying to make relating to restriction leading to curtailing of lawlessness. My, my point is where do you stop? A kitchen knife can kill a person. So why don't we ban the use of kitchen knife? That's another question in an appropriate petition or a, a, a case the court will have to consider. Restriction to what extent? The issue is that a person must, a citizen must live and let live in conformity with law. But where do you stop? <laughs> that is where we need to un identify a point. The point you were making on the argument extended by the tinted film manufacturers who went to the extent of saying that it protects skin cancer from happening and an extended argument was made in the Supreme Court. Uh, what was not it? only the argument, but the exhaustive supporting documents also forwarded 
uh, as far as you know like sun rays aiding skin cancer but there was a very interesting uh, defense which was forwarded on my part see india is a country which receives the strongest sun UV rays, rays. ha huh, because equatorial region we fall in that and we have more than 50% of the population into farming mm -hmm. and uh, most of the population stays outdoors majority but in the whole world we have the lowest incidence of skin, skin cancers cancer. and us which has uh, all regulations in place the best they have got the highest incidence nine times than india mm -hmm. so so what where how do you prove the role of sun rays and there's another study which says without sun rays you cannot have formation of vitamin d in your body mm, that's so true. So, the entire argument was rejected uh, by the reje Supreme rejected, Court. Rejected, no? Anyway, uh, uh. thank you, sir. Thank you. That's uh, all the time we have. Thank you, uh, sir, for joining us in this discussion. It's time for us to end the show. You can email your suggestions and comments to law.rstv at gmail.com. You can wa also watch our shows on the YouTube. We'll be back with a new issue and a new episode. Keep watching Raj Sabha TV.